Hello everyone, this is Swapnil Jain from Green Mana. We are once again here with our next tutorial video of IGBC Green Project series. Earlier, you have watched our videos on registration of IGBC project and four sections of IGBC Green Home project like site selection and planning, water efficiency, energy conservation, and material and resources. In this video, we will explore the next section that, that is indoor environment quality. Indoor environment quality refers to the quality of building's environment in relation to the health and well-being of those who occupy within it. IQ is determined by many factors including lighting, air quality and dam conditions. Here in this section, total available points are 15. Section includes 3 mandatory requirements and 6 optional credits. Let's start with the first mandatory requirement that is tobacco smoke control. This mandatory requirement is for the prohibition of smoking in the common areas of the building and the campus to reduce the adverse health impact on the occupant due to passive smoking. To meet this requirement, project team need to provide no smoking signages at the common area within the project site. The team also needs, needs to prepare a no smoking policy for the occupants. Next mandatory requirement is minimum daylighting. Second mandatory requirements talk about the minimum daylighting through the natural lighting source in the light regularly occupied spaces such as living room, bedroom, study room, kitchen, etc. There are two techniques for the compliance of this requirement. First is calculation and second is software simulation. To make this requirement using calculation, minimum 50% of the regularly occupied spaces for every dwelling unit should achieve minimum glazing factor. The criteria for minimum glazing factor and its calculation is given in the IGBC Green Home Guideline version 2.0. The compilers by the daylighting simulation using computer software, minimum 50% of the regularly occupied space for every dwelling unit should achieve minimum 108 lux in the clear sky condition on 21st September at 12 noon at working time. Now let's talk about the next mandatory requirement that is pressure ventilation. So this mandatory requirement talks about the pressure ventilation or outdoor air to be provided inside the regularly occupied spaces to avoid the indoor polluted affecting indoor air quality. This requirement has different approaches for naturally ventilated and air conditioning spaces. The requirement can be fulfilled by providing suitable opening whether openable windows or door to the exterior for the naturally ventilated spaces or the project which have been installed with the unitary air conditioning systems. The parameter for the minimum opening for different spaces is given in the guideline. In case of centralized air conditioning system, the project team must provide 5 CFM per person through the mechanical ventilation technique to the regularly occupied spaces. Now let's talk about the first credit IQ credit 1 enhanced daylighting this is the first credit of this section which offers maximum 4 points this credit resembles with the mandatory requirement number 2 all the calculation and simulation approaches are same as the mandatory requirement except the percentage of the regularly occupied spaces to be qualified 2 points will be awarded if 75% area get minimum daylighting level requirement or 4 points if this percentage is more than 95% IEQ Credit 2 Enhanced Fresh Air Ventilation This credit resembles with the third mandatory requirement and it offers two points. The ratio of the openable area either by windows or door in regularly occupied spaces is specified under the Green Home Guideline which is slightly higher than the mandatory requirement for the naturally ventilated and unitary air conditioned spaces. Now minimum 6.5 CFM per person is required for the centralized air conditioning spaces to achieve the 2 points which, which was 5 CFM per person in mandatory requirement. IQ Credit 3 Exhaust Systems This is the third credit of the section which offers 2 points. The points are awarded if the exhaust system are provided in the kitchen and the bathrooms. The CFM requirement for the exhaust system to be designed according to the space area is given in the IGBC Green Home Guideline under the same credit. Point will be awarded if the project team meets the requirement. IQ Credit 4 Low VOC Material, Paint and Adhesives 
this is the fourth credit of this section which award two point one point will be awarded when pants and coating with no or low voc is used for 100 percent of interior wall and ceiling another one point will be awarded if the adhesives and sealant used within the interior have voc contained within the limit as specified in the guideline in the same credit iq credit 5 building flush out this credit contains one point which will be awarded when building flush out is performed the project team needs to needs to keep all the windows and door open for 10 days before the building gets occupied the project team can also carry out flush by forced mechanical system for 5 days the compliance can be shown by the declaration letter from the owner the next credit and the last is six uh, cross ventilation this uh, credit carries four points the intent of the credit is to provide the cross ventilation for the healthy environment two point will be achieved if minimum 50 percent of the regularly occupied area in each dwelling unit shall have an opening to the outdoor environment in at least two orientation and four point can be awarded if this ratio is more than 75. The opening considered for the calculation should meet mandatory pressure requirement. The ratio calculation method is specified in the guideline. So that was all for this section. If you have any queries then you can ask us in the comments below or can reach us at Green Manor. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with us for our next tutorial videos.